It's hard to believe, but Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away, and you're going to need some delicious sides to pair with that turkey. Sarah Stegner, chef and co-owner of Prairie Grass Cafe, is here in our Studio 41 kitchen to share some Thanksgiving side dish recipes. Thank you for being in here. Thank you. I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. And Thanksgiving is really big at Prairie Grass. We have a lot of to-go's. It's all it's all to-go. It's packages, and you can order a la carte as well. That's amazing. So for me, there's two dishes here, side dishes that I want to talk about. Beautiful. One is Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. bacon, and chestnuts. Yes. And the trick to that one is you blanch the Brussels sprouts first and then saute them. Okay. And uh. that way it gets it really crispy and keeps it green. It's mm -hmm. easy to handle and you're not going to mess up and have it crunchy. <laughs> okay. And the chestnuts are delicious. Uh, you can buy them at the market, at Green City Market, mm -hmm. uh, whole, or you can buy them cryovac. Oh. And I think that's really smart to get them yeah, that way because it's a lot really of work. Smart. This is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. The other dish and what I, what I would, this is the one I'm saying you should cook at home for your Thanksgiving. Okay. It's all different kinds of varieties of squash, which I have an example mm -hmm. here. They're from different farms from Froggy Meadow. Three Sisters Garden does the traditional yeah. uh, butternut. But if you if you were interested like in the Blue Hubbard or the Delicata, that's a great way to like bring in something new for your family. I all right, so I roasted those. those. <laughs> I know, I was like, that, that Blue Hub Hubbard? Hubbard? Yeah, it's I a have Blue never Hubbard seen squash. It. Yeah, okay. And it's delicious. Okay. Delicious. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I put this dressing with it, and I'm going to show you how to make okay, it. Great. Okay. It's arugula and spinach and parsley mm. and we're just going to put that in there. It's got lemon juice which I squeezed. And then I noticed with the parsley some of the stem is still on. That's okay? It's all good. Okay. All, good. all right. All right. Uh, this is Ellis Farm Honey. I, I like to get as much as I can from the local farms. You're a big supporter of Green City Market along with other markets so you know these farmers. You, you know, right. talk with them and you know the products you're getting from yeah, them. Yeah and it drives my menu the yeah. season this is uh, tahini, oh, okay. which I, re I really like the nuttiness of it. And That's I'm a sesame paste? I thought that was it's a sesame, it's sesame paste, yes. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so I fried the sage. Okay. Now, if most people say, oh, I don't like sage, because if you eat it raw, it's very strong. Yeah. And I don't like it either. But fried, it, it's mild. It just has that aroma of what we think like a of. a sage chip. Was it delicious. Delicious. Is, it in, is yeah. that olive oil? It's olive oil. Mm -hmm. okay. So that was the, the oil mm -hmm. that I used to fry the sage, oh, which wonderful. is going to give me a lot of mm -hmm. flavor here. Yeah. And always cover your top. Yeah. You want to cool it down, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, professional so, mixer. Yeah, you know? I was like, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah, so you get this beautiful green. I can't get the top oh, off there. Some little muscle. See, here we go. Okay. This beautiful green look there, mm -hmm. and this is what oh, it comes out as. Okay. So, you know, you put the pomegranate seeds, you put the pumpkin seeds, and then the green sauce. Oh, Ooh. and you just dip them in there? Or? I put it all over it. Okay. I just drizzle oh, it all over it. You can leave it on the side if you want to really show off your squash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's if really you pretty. Want, you want your family to eat it with it because uh, it's still delicious. I love, I love the me too. Incorporating pomegranate, just I mean that texture and the color too. Right, like, right. Yeah. Is it hard and to work with or? No, it's actually pretty easy. I mean, I, I open these up so you could see where yeah. it comes from, um, and then the pecan pie. You yes. gotta have something like that. Oh you can gosh. order them from Prairie Grass. Those pecans are Three Sisters Garden pecans. Oh. Her, her father owned um, land in Tennessee. She has got oh, an orchard so there. The butternut this? squash soup and fall menu items. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. try it's that, so and you can try the pie too. Oh. And that's, like a, that's a turkey burger right there, right? <gasps> it's a turkey burger. We what? make them with cranberry sauce, and that just went on mm. the fall menu because this now is oh when people gosh. are interested. Well, you Isn't guys, mm. I've got a lot coming up, and you're changing a lot mm -hmm. of menus, correct? Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is all going to be around for Thanksgiving. It's all going to be around for Thanksgiving, and then we've got the holidays after that, Hanukkah menu, mm. that we do a nice to-go business. Mm -hmm. and Gift um, certificates, too? Lots of gift certificates. People love that. Mm -hmm. um, and we have cookie packages coming up in, in December, mm. so really good. And I've spent a lot of my time with Chicago Chef's Cook over the past six months. We raised money, I want to tell you, because I'm really proud of you it. You should be, mm -hmm. yes. It was with Tony Priolo, Ida Davidman, and Darren Guest, and then so many Chicago chefs came together and supported these causes. Uh, it gave us a voice, it was empowering, and I can't wait to see what we all do next. What's the grand total you guys raised so far? $850,000. Wow. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, so people got to support you guys so that you guys are mm -hmm. supporting a lot of other folks and get a great Thank meal you. out of it yeah. too, right? Yes. This yes. Is what, yeah. So if you can't make it up there, there, like she mentioned, yeah. there's kits that you can get, and you can make it look like you did it yourself. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> we want to make it easy for people. And your holidays, you should be relaxed. Yeah, yes. so, so allowing you know Prairie Grass and other restaurants that are doing this mm -hmm. to support you is a good thing. Do you look forward to the season? I mean, because you're very busy during I, this time. You know what? I love it. I okay. love it because you know we have these changes. You're working with tomatoes, and then and then all of a sudden you have the squash mm -hmm. come in. Yeah. And for me, that's what drives my menu: the seasonality. So yes, it this forces is you to be creative, right? Time. Oh, yes. Yeah, this yeah. is so fun. Well, thank you. Congratulations you, on yeah. 18, 18 years. Oh my years. gosh! Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. These are to die And by for. the way, this pie is outstanding. And uh -huh. make the trip to Lincoln Park with uh, Green City Market. Absolutely. And thank you. too. Yeah, thank you so much, Chef Sarah, for joining us and bringing all these mm -hmm. greens and delicious. Mm -mm -mm.